Hello friends, I am your Suresh. You are watching Enrollo Suresh YouTube channel. Friends, in this session, let's talk about vascular tissue or complex permanent tissue from 9th class bioscience. So watch this video completely without skipping. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends. And uh, before that, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and press on bell icon. Then you will get all the notifications when any video is uploaded. Now, let's have a look at the topic directly. Vascular tissue or complex permanent tissue. Before going to know about this topic, we must have an understanding, we must have an introduction regarding tissue. Okay, first of all, I will give some introduction regarding tissues. What is tissue? Tissue is a group of cells having similar structure and function. Generally, in all the organisms, cells are present. These cells are grouped together to form a tissue to carry out a special or a particular function. So, it may be plant or it may be animal. All the organisms are made of tissues. But the main difference is animal tissues are different from that of plant tissues. So in plants some different kinds of tissues are present. In animals some other kinds of tissues are present because the functions in plants and animals are also different. Okay? In plants, vascular tissue or complex permanent tissue is one kind of plant tissue. In plants generally some tissues are present. These tissues are classified into some groups. But the classification of tissues of plants is done in two methods. In one method, the tissues are divided into some other kinds. In other method, the tissues are divided into some other kinds. Let's see now. In first method, plant tissues are divided into four kinds. They are meristematic tissue, dermal tissue, and ground tissue, and vascular tissue. This is the first method of classification of plant tissues. Okay, and second method. In second method, the plant tissues are divided into two kinds. They are meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. What is meristematic tissue? Meristematic tissue means the tissue having the cells which can divide continuously. So, rapid dividing cells are the cells having their cell division capacity are present in meristematic tissue. So, all the cells present in meristematic tissue, they keep dividing and they form new cells. That is what meristematic tissue. And what is permanent tissue? Permanent tissue means the cells, some of the cells from meristematic tissue, they get modified to perform any other special function so that they lose cell division capacity. After losing cell division capacity, they get modified into some other forms. So they don't have cell division capacity once getting modified from that meristematic tissue. So that tissue is called permanent tissue. So permanent tissue is nothing but the tissue formed from or the tissue separated from meristematic tissue by losing cell division capacity. So they don't have any cell division capacity and they are fixed to perform a special function. So that is what permanent tissue. And again permanent tissue is divided into three kinds. Simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue and protective tissue. What is simple permanent tissue here? Simple permanent tissue means the tissue having same kind of cells. That is what simple permanent tissue. And what is complex permanent tissue? The tissue having different kinds of cells. The cells are of not same kind, the cells are of different kinds. If different kinds of cells are present, that kind of tissue is complex permanent tissue. And protective tissue that protects the internal parts of the plant body. Simple permanent tissue is nothing but ground tissue. And the complex permanent tissue is nothing but vascular tissue. And the protective tissue is nothing but dermal tissue. And here, however, meristematic tissue is here in this classification also. And here also meristematic tissue is present. So, whatever the method of classification it may be, mainly four kinds of tissues are present in plants. Here, we are going to talk about complex permanent tissue or vascular tissue. So that here I have written vascular tissue or complex permanent tissue. Vascular tissue is one kind of plant tissue. It helps in conduction of water and food material and minerals. So it is also called as conductive tissue. Okay, and uh, this conductive tissue or vascular tissue is divided into two kinds again. It has two kinds of tissues internally. First one is xylem and second one is phloem. Both the xylem and phloem, they combinedly forms vascular bundle. So the combination of xylem and phloem is also called as vascular bundle or it is nothing but vascular tissue. First of all, xylem. Xylem is a part of vascular tissue. It helps in conduction of water and minerals. From where it transports water and minerals, generally plant requires water for its growth and development and for carrying out all the metabolisms. The water is available to the plant in the ground. 
so the water is received by roots and the water should be supplied to all the parts of the body so here one tissue involves in the transportation of water and minerals what is that that is what xylem so xylem helps in transportation of water and minerals from ground to all parts of the body because the water is very much essential factor for running all the metabolisms or for carrying out all the metabolisms and the xylem is composed of so many kinds of cells already we have learned it is a complex permanent tissue complex permanent tissue means a tissue having different kinds of cells so all the cells in xylem are not as same they are of different forms they are of different kinds so what are the kinds of cells present in xylem xylem contains tracheid cells and tubular vessels and xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma like this different kinds of cells are present in xylem but all these cells are non living they are not living cells except the xylem parenchyma so in xylem only xylem parenchyma having living cells and remaining all the cells are non living this is about xylem and next one phloem phloem also a part of vascular tissue it helps in conduction of food material where is food available to the plants already we know that plants have a pigment chlorophyll present in leaves so chlorophyll involves in preparation of food material during the process of photosynthesis plants perform photosynthesis they produce food material or glucose or carbohydrates are formed that food material must be supplied to all parts of the body for its survival so the food material is supplied by a tissue that tissue is phloem so phloem helps in transportation of food material from leaves to all parts of the body okay and phloem also is made of different kinds of cells as it is a complex tissue okay the types of cells are like this sieve cells and sieve tubes and phloem fibers phloem parenchyma and companion cells like this different kinds of cells are present in phloem all these cells are living cells except phloem fibers in this phloem fibers are non living cells and remaining all living cells but in xylem only xylem parenchyma having living cells and remaining all non living cells okay this is about xylem and phloem finally vascular tissue having two kinds of tissues internally xylem and phloem the combination of xylem and phloem is also called as vascular bundle these vascular bundles are distributed throughout the plant body so that it involves in transportation of water minerals and food material so it is called as conductive tissue this is about vascular tissue or complex permanent tissue or conductive tissue okay friends i think you have understood this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you have any doubt please give your valuable comment and keep watching my channel for this kind of videos thank you very much for watching